What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel for yet another video of our new Ineos Grenadier. The first video I released, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, uh, I revealed the car, showed you some of the modifications we've done already, but since then, it looks a little different. We've got some really awesome touches that we've had some help with here in, in uh, town. Uh, a couple of local partnerships that I work with have done a phenomenal job giving this thing some beautiful finishing touches. And the first thing you'll notice right out of the gate are the wheels and the wrap. Wheels were powder coated by my buddy Eric over at San Juan Fab. He did these same day turnaround. No, he probably won't do your stuff same day, but he hooked us up big time, got these knocked out, color matched to the vinyl. And the vinyl, the guys at Blackout Graphics absolutely crushed it. This is a chrome vinyl that he printed the red onto, printed the Fuel Your Adrenaline logo on. And anybody who does vinyl knows chrome is pretty hard to work with and they absolutely crushed it on this job. So beautiful vinyl finish. We incorporated the logo on the hood, the logo on the side, and we're, we're kind of rebranding a little bit here with the Adrenaline HQ, which has always been a part of our brand, but we've been really focused on vans the last couple of years. So now we're, we're branching out into bringing on some other platforms, and this is a, kind of the evolution of that branding here. So we did the wheels. These are Owl Talon wheels from our partners at Owl Vans. Great wheel if it's the Sprinter and the Grenadier as we, I touched on on our previous videos. I did the rapid inflate and the rapid deflate valves by Apex. So really quick deflate and inflate when you're going on and off road. I've already touched on a lot of the stuff on the exterior that we did on the first initial round of modifications, but of course I have the bumper by CA Tuned off road, a worn 12,000 pound winch with a synthetic line. Factor 55 Fairlead and Hook, some worn Epic shackles. The powder coat again on the bumper was done by Eric at San Juan Fab, and this is a rainbow's end color. So in the sun, it's a bunch of different colors, a rainbow of colors. It's really cool and it stands out great with the, with the uh, chrome vinyl. So everything on the paint and the vinyl just kind of pops and churns color in the sun. It's, it's pretty cool. Aside from that, the exterior of the, of the car is basically just like you saw it in the last video. We already did the KW suspension, fully adjustable V5 suspension, top of the line, adjustable off-road suspension. It's a KW Ryger product. They do a ton of stuff in Dakar. Rally, rally cross, super, super good stuff. And we're gonna be putting that on another Grenadier tomorrow. That'll be the third one in the country with that suspension. And we had a chance to go wheeling today. And I say we, I'm talking about Talon, who's behind the camera right now. What's up, Talon? What up? So we went and drove a couple hours off road today, lost his Mercedes key and found it again in the Adobe's. But we had a good time wheeling this thing and, and checking out some of the different features of the car and the off-road capabilities, playing with the suspension, changing some settings, and I'll tell you what, this thing is a lot of fun to drive. A lot of fun to drive both on the road, off-road. I mean, it turns heads like you wouldn't believe because nobody really knows what it is yet. So we had a good time driving it, and uh, I just wanted to, to, while Talon was here, show you guys some, some features on the car that we've added and some things that we're working on. Um, in the interior portion, Never mind the dirt, we were out wheeling today and I haven't detailed it yet, but we have floor mats by Inhabit Design Works. And these are from their Porsche line. The color is from their Porsche line of interior mats. Beautiful red, it matches the red on the exterior. And uh, those guys knocked it out of the park. These mats fit perfectly. We carry these for the Grenadier and have them here, um, ready to go for yours. So if you want a set in any color, just let us know. They're a great product. Never mind the door panels that are off. I am building a stereo system for the Grenadier that we'll have available very soon that will be a complete kit. So front speakers, fill speakers, subwoofer, amplifier, DSP, all-inclusive audio kit. It's gonna be super, super premium. We're using audio frog components and match DSP amplifier, and it's gonna be insane. So stay tuned for that. That'll be coming really soon. Also check out the window tent. This is by our buddies here in town, Premium Auto Solutions. These guys did a phenomenal job. We did a 5% on the, on the glass all around and yeah, you, you can't see through it. It's awesome. So we did that everywhere on top of the factory tent in the back. So I wanted it really dark. 
We did it on the Safari windows, the front doors, the rear doors, of course, and then I did a visor strip as well on the windshield just for the sun, the low angle sun when we're driving into the sun. On the back end, I still have the stock spare. I have a, a bracket coming from Agile Off-Road, an adapter bracket that'll allow us to put the full size owl wheel on the back and spin it around. Because right now the wheel is front facing in, so we'll be able to spin the wheel around have the wheel on display and it offsets it as well so you can still open the back door. And then of course in the back, I think I already showed this in my other video, but we've got the slide out tray by CA Tuned. I've got Inhabit Floor Mat just kind of sitting in here. We're gonna get this all finalized and situated. I'll have the subwoofer in the back for the audio system. And then I'll get all this decked out with camera equipment, off-road gear, etc. So the back will be pretty utilitarian. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna camp in this vehicle. This is just purely an off-road play truck, something to daily drive, something to go wheeling in, and then I have my vans for base camp, of course. You might have heard the exhaust uh, at the start of the video. This is a Miltec exhaust, it's stainless steel exhaust, and I really like the sound. It has a nice pop on D-cell, not too obnoxious. It has a nice rumble around town, and it, it sounds really good when you're romping on it, but it's not annoyingly loud when you're going down the highway. We drove several miles on the highway today and it's really very manageable on the on highway speeds. But when you're going from light to light around town, it sounds awesome. And then deselling going downhill sounds really, really good. So I'm very happy with that. And it really gives the truck a lot of personality when you compare it to the truck in stock form. So the wheel and tire package, kind of getting back to the wheels. Again, this is an Owl Talon wheel. It's from their Sprinter line. Of course, they work on the Grenadier, as I've already mentioned, because it's the same center bore and the same lug pattern. But the, the offset is very favorable to this truck. And I chose our, what we, we call it the Greyhound package, but it's a tall, skinny tire. So this is our Mickey Thompson Baja Boss tire. These are made in America. A really great tire. I've, I'm a big fan. I've got these on my Storyteller. We put them on a lot of customers' vehicles. It's a 255 series. 85 series on the uh, aspect ratio and then a 17 inch wheel of course so it measures about 34 and a half i think just under 34 and a half inches so not quite a 35 but it's much narrower than your typical 35 12 5 tire and for me it does really really well in the snow which is what i you know drive in a lot here in colorado it does well off-road and aside from maybe super deep sand i really don't see a drawback to a narrow tire uh, I've been a, a huge fan of having it on the van and so we went for that here on the Grenadier and it's pretty cool because I could pull these wheels right off of the Grenadier, put them on the van without any modifications whatsoever and it would be fine. And on the Grenadier with the suspension, it's a 40 millimeter lift with the KW suspension and with that we're able to put the wheels and tires on with zero trimming whatsoever. So it clears in the rear, clears in the front. And up front with the CA Tune bumper, of course, you do, you do um, remove a little bit of the factory um, fender skirt. But uh, as you can see here up front, you can see this clearance. And then if you look at a factory fender skirt, it's pretty much the same. So without really any modifications, you can fit a really tall tire on this car and it looks fantastic. I think we did a comparison in the previous video of the ride height um, on stock wheels and tires, this uh, Andreas's car versus mine. It was, I think, about an inch and a half or so taller with the KW, as you would expect with those springs. But now with the tires, it's, it's significantly taller than stock. In fact, when you're getting in and out of it, you, that's where you really notice how tall the damn thing is. Not so much getting in because you're grabbing the handle, but when you go to get out and you almost fall out on the ground, then you're like, okay, it's pretty dang tall. Overall, I'm extremely pleased with how the car has turned out so far. And next up, we're gonna be doing some more modifications to the engine for performance. I've got a few uh, really exciting products that we're gonna be installing. One is an IO pedal from our good friend John at Agile Off-Road. He's developed an IO pedal throttle tuner for the Grenadier, so we're gonna put that in so we have a little bit more crisp throttle response. I wanna develop some cold air intake options for this. I'm not sure what is out there right now since it's a BMW motor. I, we're gonna try to find something maybe from the Supra world that will translate to this. Also, a, a different uh, cat delete downpipe would be really cool for some more you know, engine noise and performance, as well as an engine tune. 
So if any of you in the BMW world have some suggestions on tuning and want to point me in that direction, feel free to send us a message or comment below. But that's kind of where we're going next with it will be more performance related. Right now I'm extremely happy with the suspension. The, the drivetrain is phenomenal. We used a lot of the factory features off-road today, the four low lockers, the um, descent control. It's incredible. You can d control your descent with your cruise control and specify an exact mile per hour and it will just hold the truck going downhill at that speed which was super cool. I've never been in a vehicle that had that. I think, Talon, you said your truck has that, correct? Some Toyotas do, yeah. But it, it's, it's a lot of fun to, to drive off-road, especially coming from a great big, huge van. You get into this and it just feels like a, like a toy. It feels like you can go anywhere. We drove over some rocks, you know, a, like a, a rock barrier that was actually quite tall and the ground clearance is phenomenal. A lot of G outs, a lot of steep grades. I think we're, we're nearing 30% several times, both going up and down in loose adobe dirt. So, you know, definitely using that four wheel drive was, was key. Overall, it performs way better than I even expected. So I'm, I'm enjoying the truck a lot and I'm really looking forward to building more of these. Um, speaking of that, tomorrow we're gonna be building Andreas's Grenadier. So same exact truck with a few more factory options. As I mentioned in my first video, he already has a factory winch built into his bumper, but we're going to be doing the KW suspension tomorrow. Delta wheels, some Falcon Wild Peak AT4 tires, and a Miltec exhaust as, as well. He's going to do the audio system as well once we get that, those products here, but we're still a, a few days out from having them here. So tomorrow we'll be doing suspension wheels, tires, and uh, exhaust. This is kind of gonna be our signature package, really be a, a wheel tire suspension package, a bumper if somebody wants a winch bumper, and then some other accessories, some exterior uh, upgrades, whether it be vinyl, tint, um, things like that. But really focusing on getting the truck driving and performing better, both on and off-road, which is the beauty of having that adjustable suspension. You get the best of both worlds. So I really just wanted to showcase the truck. I didn't need to make it a long video, but wanted to, to showcase the vinyl work and say uh, a huge thank you to all the partners here in town that have helped us make this happen, both here in town and out of town. I mean, Max at CA Tuned with the bumper, um, RRE Global, KW, Ryger for the suspension, uh, Blackout Graphics with the vinyl, Premium Auto Solutions for the window tint, San Juan Fab for the powder coat, John and Brian at Inhabit for the mats. I mean, there's a lot of people that have helped contribute to make this truck what it is right now. And we're really excited to be working with you guys and continuing to build more of these and, and get more on the road. So that, that's about all I have for tonight. Really appreciate y'all watching. Uh, if you like this content and you want to see more on this truck, be sure to subscribe. I have a playlist specific to the Ineos Grenadier stuff. So check that out, follow along, and um, check out what we're doing on Andreas's tomorrow. Thanks for watching.